Welcome to MIDC Water Treatment Plant, Ambarnath. Plant is distributed in four stages. Stage 1 Raw water system. Water is lifted from river and sent to filtration plant. Stage 2 Clarifier and filter house. Water is clarified and filtered in various stages. Stage 3 Pure water pump house. Filtered water is lifted to hill reservoir. Stage 4 Hill reservoir. Pure water is stored and distributed to various MIDC users. Automation of this plant includes 7 master PLCs white, a raw water system, pure water system, EHVT station and one master PLC for each filter stage. There are 4 stages of filters. A historian, a historian is interfaced with all master PLCs where process data is collected and analyzed. Historian is interfaced with MIDC server to available the history of data or online data. Let us study a raw water pump house. There are two raw water pump house located near river. Name the old pump house and new pump house. River water is supplied through two water channel to new pump house and one water channel to old pump house. A trash rack is provided in water channel to protect the entry of river animals like fish and jungle wood. In case the trash rack is choked due to heavy particles, an ultrasonic level transmitters provided at upstream and downstream of rack will indicate the difference in water level and alarm will be announced to inform the operator. Similarly, in case the inlet gate of pump pit is choked, an alarm will be announced. Each pump house has a set of 10 pumps. Each pump can be operated from control room. When pump is started, pressure and flow is developed in the pipeline. If more number of pumps are started, more amount of pressure and flow will be developed, which will be recorded by SCADA. A dedicated master PLC is designed to monitor and control the raw water pump house operations. Let us understand how raw water pump flow takes place. A raw water pump is provided with force water line for pump cooling and bearing lubrication. A pure water is used for this application. Magnetic flow meter is provided on common pipeline to measure the force water utility. A pressure transmitter is also provided to measure the force water pressure. A pressure switch is provided on each individual force water line to pump so as to ensure the availability of force water when raw water pump is in operation. When pump is started, the discharge butterfly wall is also opened. If the adequate amount of pressure is developed, pump will continue in operation or automatically stop. Let us understand raw water pump parameters. A raw water pump safety is ensured by measuring the pump bearing vibrations, pump bearing temperature and motor winding temperature. These parameters are recorded in SCADA. In case pump vibrations or bearing and motor winding temperatures are more than allowable limit, an alarm will be announced to alert operator in view of taking a precautionary action. These parameters can be further used for machine maintenance monitoring system. Water filter overview Filter house includes water intake well and chemical losing system, clarifier and filter bed. There are four stages of filter house. Stage 1 has 18 filter beds, stage 2 has 14 filter beds, stage 3 has 6 and stage 4 has 14. Water supplied from raw water pump is collected at intake well, from where it is distributed to each clarifier in two different streams or open channels. A turbidity and pH transmitters are provided on each channel to measure turbidity and pH of the water. A chemical dosing tank is located near well. This tank is provided with level transmitter. Chemical can be dosed in a raw water in two different streams. A control wall is provided on each chemical dosing line to control the dose. A flow transmitter is provided on each chemical dosing line to measure the dose. Based on the turbidity and pH measured in each raw water stream, the chemical dose can be controlled by dosing control wall. Chemical dosing system is provided with micro PLC and HMI. This micro PLC is wirelessly interfaced with stage 1 master PLC. Water is clarified in each clarifier. The algae and other solids are settled down in the clarifier. Clear water is passed to the filter bed. Each clarifier is provided with micro PLC and HMI, which is further interfaced with wireless communication with various stages of master PLCs.
filter bed overview filter bed is provided with raw terrain inlet wall g3 and pure water outlet walls g1 blower air inlet wall v4 g2 backwash water inlet wall g2 backwash water drain wall g4 during back backwash cycle pure water is stopped blower air fluidizes the bed for predetermined time and backwash water cleans the bed the sequence of operation is automatic and divided in four sequences sequence 1 normal mode a raw water inlet wall g3 and pure water outlet wall g1 are open all other walls are kept closed an ultrasonic level transmitter is provided to measure the bed water level a capacitance type level transmitter is provided to measure the pure water open chamber level if the filter bed level is increase or pure water open channel level is decrease then period determined level backwash sequence will automatically start next sequence is a blower mode in this stage raw water and pure water walls are closed automatically backwash water line walls are also closed blower line walls will automatically open air will fluidize the sand and separate the turbidity from the sand after predetermined time the air walls will close and blower sequence will stop third sequence is a backwash mode during backwash cycle all other walls will automatically close and backwash inlet wall and drain wall will open a pure water delivered from backwash water tank will clean the filter bed turbidity separated from filter bed will be carried away to drain after predetermined time the cycle will also stop and normal sequence will start that is raw water intake in bed is allowed to generate the pure water each filter is each filter bed is provided with micro plc and hmi each filter stage is provided with master plc and scada the micro plc of each filter bed is wirelessly interfaced with the master plc of that filter stage backwash and blower there are three sets of backwash water pumps each set is provided with two pumps one running and other standby when pump is started pure water from backwash water tank is delivered to backwash water header which is connected with each filter bed a pressure transmitter and a magnetic flow transmitter is provided at discharge of each pump set the amount of pure water utilized for backwash is recorded in scada four air blowers are provided blowers can be started and stopped from central control room when blower is started air is delivered to air header which is connected to each filter bed a pressure transmitter is provided at discharge of each blower a micro plc and hmi is provided for backwash water pump system and blowers these plcs are wirelessly interfaced with stage 2 and stage 3 master plcs pure water pump house filtered water from filter is collected at pure water sump water sump is provided with ultrasonic level transmitters water from sump is passed to pure water pit 23 pure water pumps are located on pure water pit out of 23 pumps 17 pure water pumps are of 750 hp and remaining six numbers are of 600 hp pure water sump is provided with turbidity ph and chlorine transmitters the data received from these transmitters is recorded in scada each pure water pump can be started and stopped from central control room water delivered from pure water pump is stored in hill reservoir let us understand how pure water pump flow works pure water pump is provided with water from pump sump for cooling and lubrication a pressure switch is provided on each line to ensure the lubrication of pump bearings when pump is started the discharge butterfly valve will automatically open if adequate amount of pressure is developed the pump will continue in operation or automatically stop each pump is provided with magnetic flowmeter so as to calculate the pump performance a dedicated master plc and scada is designed for pure water pump system which is interface with historian pure water pump parameters pure water pump safety is ensured by measuring the pump bearing vibrations pump bearing temperature and motor winding temperature these parameters are recorded in scada in case pump vibrations or bearing and motor winding temperatures are more than allowable limit an alarm will be announced to alert operator in view of taking a precautionary action these parameters can be further used for machine maintenance monitoring system 
highlights of the automation system automation of the plant measures following data one amount of electricity used two quantity of water received from river three quantity of water delivered to user four water losses in the plant and five efficiency of each equipment notice the process data indicated in video is indicative only and not actual declaration this video is designed and developed by instrumentation department of college of engineering pune thank you very much